Hello, welcome to another Fighting Fantasy Friday, and in this one we're going to play something a wee bit different. We're going to play The Legend of Zagor, uh, based upon the book of the same name, Legend of Zagor. This is the, uh, this is the Wizards books uh, version of it. Um, yeah, this came out in 1993 by uh, Park Brothers. Um, on the channel, there is a sort of look at, I did a video where we looked at the components, but since then I've... Uh, if you watch that, you'll notice the miniatures were painted badly. So I bought this off eBay in the early 2000s, and the miniatures are painted already, but they look like I painted it in enamel. So I might do a little vlog on uh, that, on pro how I painted them and how they ended up looking. But yeah, so I've painted it since then. Um, this is an awesome game. It's a bit of a dungeon crawler, uh, kind of. It's not. Uh, like most dungeon crawlers, it's a random dungeon, dungeon set up, uh, predetermined, but what a board, what a board, I mean, just got to show you this quickly, this is the board, so it's a fully 3D board, and that's where we're trying to get to at the back there, uh, but it's perfect for solo play, because, uh, it's an electronic game. Um, it has everything. See it there in the picture. It says it's got 40k microchip in it. 40 whole k. And what it does is that M bit that we just looked at there. Uh, this here. This is where the computer is. Uh, there are buttons upon it. There. And Zagar is effectively our dungeon master, our games master. So he controls the monsters. Um, and he will occasionally give you a random event in the game. So it's perfect for solo play. Normally it's a uh, two plus player game and it's not cooperative. It is sort of player versus environment as well as player versus player. Um, and what you have to do is uh, you start off, I'm going to be, be the barbarians. Have a look at the characters first of all. Because you can be, uh, what's his name? Uh, Angvar the barbarian, Stubble the dwarf, Braxus the warrior or Salazar the wizard and we're going to be the barbarian because uh, I mean we move these for now look at that I mean we've all in this current situation where we can't get to a barber has got hair like that I mean mind you get in there but that's Braxus that's who we're going to be so you have a player sheet one for each warrior that's what I've got here now you start off with one strength you're quite weak and six stamina so that's your health and that's how good art fighting now, if you know fighting fantasy, why is that not skill and uh, stamina, skill and strength, whatever it is? Oh, weird. You start off with 20 gold, and I've got my monster sheet here, and when I fight monsters, uh, Zagar will share his stats. And then we've got some other bits here. So, you got a stool that I can buy stuff with, and magical items. I can get a hireling who can fight for me and do things for me. I've got a mule who can carry stuff, which we'll get to in a minute, and these are going to remind me what buttons I'm going to need to push. Um, because, yeah, what this is, what I need to, it's a bit like Talisman uh, in a sense. Uh, if we go back to the board, now it's on the board, there are these tiles. Underneath there is a dungeon. Now, these are effectively like the adventure cards in Talisman. Every time I land on them, I turn over and face the event. It can be good, it can be bad. Be a monster to fight, could be equipment to get me better. Now, what you'll see on the equipment list here is you know sword plus two. So if I got a sword, I can move my stamina up plus two to improve my fighting, which is great because what I need to do is get my character leveled up to fight not only Zagar, but there's a dragon guarding him. But also, what I'm trying to do is uh, get hold of these chest cards here. Um, now these, what they'll do inside these chest cards are um, effectively things that are weak and Zagar. So inside the chest is, let's see if I can find it quickly, I bet I can't. Um, golden talisman, yeah. Inside the chest contain a golden talisman and a silver dagger. Uh, each, so each card contains, a meant to contain a dagger and talisman. Each dagger and talisman weakens his strength and stamina. So, um, you can only collect a certain amount, so uh, 
Let's have a look. Let's go somewhere that will tell me how many I can tell. I think it's something like four, but if I got a mule, I can carry two more. Uh, yeah. To, uh, in order to uh, aid you in your fight against Zagar, you must collect as many treasure cards as you can. Each chest signifies a golden talisman which reduces Zagar's strength by one, and a silver dagger which reduces stamina by one. Um, so you may only hold six treasure cards by yourself, however you can carry two extra cards if you find or purchase a mule. So that will be my first port of call. Um, I just got to forget the gen box because that will tell me where I start, I believe. It's not the instructions to the other side. It's one of those games where UK games, some of the instructions are in the box lid and some are in here. So what we're going to do is we are going to see so start in the corner here. So and one thing I should note about this game is the uh, models are brilliant. You've got miniatures and they're straight from um, the artwork from the books. If we have a look at the chaos, uh, champion here you know I've got hang on. oh sorry wrong button there we go I've got and now I've got a miniature the chaos champion from from that book so look at him uh, let's see if I can get him yeah that's him so that is that there I have, I have a miniature of them, which is great, but not only that, another example, just quickly, is the uh, demon dude. I've got a miniature of the demon dude, so I've got some fire fancy miniatures, which is brilliant. So yeah, you know, it looks like, they actually look pretty cool, so uh, I'm pleased with that. So what we're going to do, is we're going to start off in the... Um, in level one, uh, which is the Chambers of Death, uh, that's going to have level one monsters. Um, level two is called the Halls of Fear, and that will have level two monsters. Uh, in level one, it will be goblins, orcs, zombies, and skeletons. Level two, the Halls of Fear, will be uh, light brown tiles, and <coughs> monsters are trolls, ogres, chaos champions, and hellhorns. And then level 3 is the Crypt of Zagar, where we've got a bloody flame dragon and Zagar himself. So uh, he's going to GM. Uh, I've got to turn him on and place him in his thing, but he gets on my nerves. So if you look over here, that's Zagar there. So he's meant to be up there, but then that's in the way of the button. So I don't know. I might put him there and see how we go. I might put him there at the end. But we've got to turn him on <laughs> and we've got to select which one got to tell him who we are so uh, here we go should we do this let's start this uh, let's turn it on who dares challenge me <laughs> barbarian yeah okay in combat he moves really quick so um, forgive me I have to roll some dice and stuff and I'll probably have a read up before we do Okay, let's do this. So what I can do is um, there's another overview shot of the board here. So this is level one, level two, and then level three. Ooh. I can move um, up to two spaces. Um, you can move one or two spaces. So all I'm going to do is we're going to move one, and we're going to move here. And so what we're going to do is take this. It's a witch. Lose one magical arrow and a golden coin. Oh, what? So I've lost a coin already. Hold on, Zagor. Calm it. Calm it. Now sometimes these stay on the board, they get flipped over. Whenever you find one of these, a witch. Have a look. Hag, 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 witch. Uh, discard equipment, which one that, and then we turn it face down in its space. Yeah, so sometimes they disappear, other times they t so that means we can encounter her again if we forget. So that's my turn, first turn. Okay, I think it's just having fit. So we're gonna go here. 
So I'm gonna see how I go moving one at a time, see how if I start getting a bit ganked, I'll start moving up. Healing potion, that's good. So we've got healing potion. Uh, so I'll take that, I believe. Healing potions, uh, what do they do for my healing potions? Uh, you may p only pick up these items if hero is allowed to carry such an object. Well, I don't know. I'm assuming I am, it doesn't say anything. I think I can only take two uh, at a time if you look at my sheet here. I think that's how many I'm allowed to take. I'm allowed to take two healing items. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so we'll move one more space, I think. Just to here. Elven boots. Can I take some elven boots? I can. So I'm going to take some elven boots as well. Shut up, Zagar. Um, I guess we can... Next turn, we can go into the zombie room, have a fight with a zombie. Or Zambi, why aren't you focusing, camera? Focus. Anyway, that's a blurry shot of a Zambi. Which way we can do some combat? We might as well get on with that. I'll probably die straight away. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What do Elven boots do for me, anyway? Um. I think they allow me to move three squares, but it doesn't actually tell me here. Uh, I'm assuming Elven Boots will allow me to move three. You love these playthroughs where it's just me looking. Uh, oh yeah, I should mention there are a couple of shorter games where you don't have to fight Zagar, so um, that could be interesting to do just for a quick blast. Don't be a random game. Okay, character sheet, um, I think it just says uh, move in, need to measure, um, you may go down. or three, yeah, they just allow me to move an extra square. So what we're going to do is we're going to go enter in a room, um, so what we have to do is push one of the two buttons, uh, either the dwarf, it changes the death, that guy's very noisy, so shall we, shall we go in and have a fight with a zombie? Um, so I need you to take treasure cards from one for the first level. Ah, so you get one treasure card for in here, two for level two. So uh, okay, I guess I could just bumble around the uh, first level, get all my cards in here, beating easy monsters, and then you totally ignore the second level because a bit like Talisman, when you've got multiple players, this is a this is a sort of race against time kind of thing because other people are competing with you. So let's do this. Um, so combat. Oh, I should have a spell. Sorry, I'd start off with a spell. Uh, magical charge. You may play this card on your turn and you take two spells from the pack and use them immediately. Okay, so I've got magical charge, which is there. You're going to have all players have one spell. Yeah, so um, combat. Uh, character versus monster. Combat will begin. Who dares challenge me? Uh, we'd have to be quick in combat. That's why I'm reading this because he just. Um, you hear the monster approaching, Zagor describes the monster's strength and stamina range. Mark these on your uh, character sheet. Uh, each time you wound a monster, the monster moves the stamina token. Uh, in order to wound the monster, you and the monster must both in turn attempt to equal or better your, your opponent's strength score. My strength one. So, um, I want to know that. If it is equal. Uh, so, So I've got strength for one at the moment. I don't think I should fight this zombie. I might actually just make my way to the store and get a sword, I think, is my... That's the store up here. There's an actual uh, store here. I don't know if you can see this. He is uh, a chap, and he's got a cat, which I've painted up to look like the cat you see in my videos. Little jump in. He was now just eaten, so... I think that's my plan. So I think we're going to use my elven boots to go one, two, three to there. And we have leather pouch, take three gold. Okay, I think that gets uh, removed. Let's make sure. One leather pouch, found gold, immediately take some money and remove tile from the board. Yeah, just want to make sure. So I'm two gold up. Now, as I said, every so often, Zagar, if you think you're not doing well enough, he will give you random events. So we're going to then go to here, take this one. 
it's a oh it's a random oh what this means is I'm gonna have to push when you uh, land the Ren time, you have to immediately push the warrior button. Zagar will then choose one of the players and affect a Ren event, whether good or bad. So, and it uh, doesn't say to put it back, so we remove that. So, warrior button, here we go. Warrior button is. Uh, dwarf, warrior button's this bottom one. Here. Barbarian, a thief. Lose one piece of armor. I don't have any armor. Jokes on you, thief. You took my pants. Anyway, we're going into the shop now. So we'll go into the shop. One, two, three. Hello, hello, Mister Straw. Um, let him. Uh, entering a room. Rentals. Uh, super passages. Ooh, uh, equipment. Count the tiles, round tiles. Uh, I forget where it is. I think we just. There's uh, magic. Voice is Zago. Crypt is Zago. Oh, the store. Dungeon store. Here we go. It's local in general. Uh, hero ends his turn in store and may purchase as many items as he can afford and he's allowed to carry. Excellent. So, for this, we have little, little tokens. So, what I want is. Have a palm up a helmet. That's free. Swords five. So, yeah. Ah, barbarian, you hide from my creatures, coward. I'm Lose one magic item. <laughs> uh, magic. Um. Oh, I'll lose my elven boots then. Oh well. Uh, buy a pair of boots. Uh, okay, so so I want the sword. Shield is going to be. T I might buy a shield. How much? All right, let's yeah. see. I'm going to get all the thing potential what I want out. Yeah, so definitely want a sword for plus two. Uh, that pl uh, five even. Uh, that's plus two. Sharp's a gone. Shopping. Uh, Chainmail for ten. So we'll put that five back. So another two. Three, four, five. Okay. Uh, a helmet for free. Okay. And a shield for two. Okay. Right up, there you go. Okay, and I lost my elven boots. I can only move two now. That's fine. I'm going to go one, two, and encounter this square. Now we're all tooled up. To shield. Bugger. <laughs> uh, well, I'll leave that there. I could have saved myself two gold. Well, darn it. Sharp Zagar. Give me a chance. I'm also explaining to viewers. Quite difficult. And now I've got loads of tokens everywhere. Ah. Ah, I might put these in the separate bags in the future. Ah. Okay, so let's do some combat. Okay, so we're going to enter a room. And you go into this room here. Oh, we have this goblin. Zagar, don't. I'm going to ignore you if you give me an event, so I'm explaining. Uh, character, um, so, yep, combat. So, what we do is we have to push the button when we're into a room. Oh, so, you did challenge me. Um, so, anyway, we announce the strength of stamina. Uh, if it is equal, uh, as I got, I will announce the monster's first attack. If it's equal or better to your strength score, two, three, four, five, six. So. Six. I'm up to seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You should then, uh, if you roll. So I've got to roll a dice. So uh, my strength is just defense. My attack is totally random. So let's do this. So what button do we push? Uh, dwarf button. 
So I do him. One. No, I win. And I do him. Uh, how do we end this? Yes, I've done him. Uh, it's monster. How do I? Four. Hearing the damage is here. Hearing. Oh, I see. I just push this again. Eight. Wait, no. No. Okay, so that's that monster dead. And I take a card. Number 13 in this case. So I need to get a mule. Um, How much was a mule? Cost free. I could have bought one from the shop. I'm going to go back into the shop. One, one two. But it's here. Uh, I've got to encounter this one. It's a bloody helmet. Oh, all the equipment's around the shop. Is he? I'm going to go in here. And I buy a mule, matey. There we go. Got a mule so I can carry more items. All right, so that's three. So I have two gold back. You can have my five. I'm down to four gold. I'm a pauper. I can't believe he actually done me. All right, so one, two, we know what that is. One, two, encounter this. It's random. Okay, so random is what is it? I'm gonna I'll never remember all this. Mm -hmm. Oh I've got to look on the thing. Alright, oh, so you got stop getting excited. Seven, so I'm gonna do it. And that's a six, so I definitely do that. Get another card. Turn four. I'm gonna add eight of these. Oh, so what I might do now is come one, two, and count with this square. Oh no, trap! Lose one stamina. Uh, down to six. I need to get a healing potion, I think. Uh, cost two gold. Go back and enter the man and buy him, but no, let's carry on. Two. Come here with traps removed there. Okay. Oh, it's the witch again, isn't it? Lose a gold coin. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Use a gold coin, so I'm down to three gold. 
Blooming Witch. I can't remember if the trap gets moved. Uh, does the trap get moved? No, yeah, the trap remains. So we've got to remember that's a trap now. Okay. I'm going to fight... I'm going to fight this orc, because I'm right here. I mean, it's quite a basic game, really, but... Possibly more fun with more players. Barbarian, prepare to die! <laughs> we got for me. Defend yourself! There is danger here. Strength, three. Stamina, two. That's all right. Go on, make your first attack. Nah, no, not good enough. One. Nope, not good enough. One. Nope. One. Oh, God, these dice rolls. Talks a bit tough. One. Nope. Five. Yes. Three. Nope, not good enough. Cool, that goblin, that first. Thing. Yeah, I've done him. He's dead. Another card. Kill the monster. Alright. I think it's a bit bad starting with 20 gold. You can just loot right up and you don't have to worry. I'm going to come out of this. Go one, two. Get some of these. Uh, secret passage. Go to any other secret passage. You leave that there, like so. Go one, two. With players, it gets a bit more devious. Uh, friendly dwarf, take another turn. Do I leave friendly guys there? I'm fighting. Doesn't say. I'm going to leave him there. Uh, one, two, and obviously take another turn is pointless because it's just me playing. Uh, pull the gold. Roll one dice. Roll one die, one to nine gold pieces, ten dries up. Oh, so that's going to stay there. We can now say a uh, gold one. So I got three. That's all right. The problem is with the story is I don't think I really need gold because it's right back there. I need to do some fighting. So we might as well fight this zombie. I love these zombies. The zombie here. Barbarian, oh. you hide from my creature. <laughs> I'm actually about. One turn. What? What? <laughs> That'll probably be, be better if you were playing more players. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go in and fight this zombie then. Who dares challenge me? Barbarian, prepare to die. <laughs> Prepare for battle. There is danger here. Strength two. Stamina two. That's all right. I'm up that machine here. Wow! I just got a paste in. I pasted him back. One. Ha! We pasted him back. Yeah, he's dead. You can't say I'm hiding from your monsters. When all right, so I've got four of these now. I'm halfway there. There you go. One, two. Move these. Oh, it's a random. It is a random event. <laughs> fix that. Barbarian, take any item. 
Take it where? Take any. Oh, that's good. He's rewarded me. So uh, I'm going to have my elven boots. I'm going to have a pair of elven boots then. Take any item. Have some elven light. Right, so now these stairs don't count as spaces. So it's just one, two. I'm going to go up here, get some more. Oh, that one's well in there. Who thought that was a good idea? Place one in here when you have people like me with no <laughs> nails. It is. Teleport, move to any other square on this level. Uh, does teleport get removed? Uh, you must then turn the tunnel face down again. Uh, Alright. On this level. Uh, we have space on this level. Uh, we'll go just outside this room here and face this one. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Ah, Dark Elves lose Elven Boots. <laughs> this game really doesn't want me to have the Elven Boots. Uh, and face down again. Oh, come on. I'm get those back. Right, so we're going to get a face in here. We're going to have a face, face off with an Ogre. Let's see how we do. Because this will allow me to... Um, Get more items quicker. Oh yes, do battle with me. Barbarian, prepare to die. <laughs> so this would be a tougher battle. You are not alone. Yeah. You hear a sound behind you. Three, four, stamina, three. That's not that much tougher, is it? Although I only have five health. Ten. Bloody hell! Four health. Uh, but I do him. Seven. I just realised I'm moving my wrong one down. No, you didn't do me that time. One. No, he doesn't do it. I don't do him. One. No. Yep, get him. One more hit. Five. No. Two. No, don't do him. He's on strength four. I'm on strength seven, just a reminder. Said that seven. Yeah, do him. And so I can take two of these now. Yeah, so I've got the full amount I can take without my mule. I've got my mule. So that's nice. And now I have to go one, two, go along to here. It's a hag, lose one stamina. Stamina. I'm down up halfway. Uh, one, two. Uh, so I want to go one, one, two. I'm going to fight that chaos champion. I think. Wizard, evil wizard, lose magic ring. I don't have a magic ring, so jokes on you. So we're then going to go one, two to this square here. Wood elf. Gain two magic arrows. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that sword on the other board. It's all covered up with these tiles. Two magic arrows. I don't know what magic arrows do, but I got two. I'm assuming I can do some sort of magic mega attack. I'm going to try and keep hold of these. What I really want is another potion. I should have bought more potions. So I can take that's maximum two. I got that. Um, let's go and fight. Go in here, fight here. Fight this chaos champion here. Are we doing it? Who dares challenge me? Well, it's, it's me, isn't it? Barbarian, prepare to die. <laughs> oh, I'm on 
number three. Something approaches. There's a chaos champion. Three, four, stamina, two. I only got him twice. <laughs> Nine. Bloody hell. <laughs> One. Ooh. Seven. Oh, no, that's draw. That's three. <laughs> two. Oh, climb me, I can't. Get him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. If you die in single player, you're out of the game. What? With that. Oh, six, okay. In multiplayer, you just sort of go back to the game and get penalised by losing equipment and stuff. Okay. Money just. Oh, come on! Oh, I'm gonna to listen to Rob and abuse the dice. Seven. No, no one likes you, dice. No one likes you. <laughs> yes, done him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take two of these, and so I am fully stopped up on these cards. I don't know what these numbers mean. But I've randomised. They've got numbers on, which is one to twenty-four, because that's how many are. But what I've done is I've randomised the, um, just in case, I should have read ahead, uh, bling, bling, one spell, uh, I want to find out what arrows do. Uh, oh god. I think what I'm going to do is use this health, so I go back up, and I'm going to go right back to the store and buy two more, so, uh, <laughs> one, two, so... Pass some random events. Oh, I lose one stamina. Oh, stinky bops. One, two. Okay, so I'm, I'm not too sure if I prefer random. I'm not too sure if I just prefer. Barbarian to the store. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're laughing. That's where I was going. Jokes on you. <laughs> right. So um, let's change up some gold first. So uh, five and a one, please, sir. Uh, five and a one. And I think I might dual wield with an axe as well. So you can just have five. So it's uh, how much do the potions cost? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So I'm gonna be dual wielding. Uh, <laughs> so I can do that. But it's a little bit ganky. I need some potions. Got two potions. Got two arrows. I don't know what a magic ring does. Oh, by the way, any event that happens at the moment when I'm talking, we're ignoring. When I buy an axe. It's going to improve my stamina. Okay, I don't know what a torch does. Uh, eight, so I'm max stamina now. Um, probably somewhere in here tells you. It's one of those old rule books. Probably used to me with these where it's not very good for quick look up. It's great for reading, but not very good for looking up. So, anyway, yeah, we're going to ignore the random event until I start playing. There's no pause button. Obviously, I'm recording as well as playing. I still don't know, don't know what the arrows do, so we're going to put the put pause in. <laughs> pause in. Wizard, your courage has amused me. Gain one stamina. <laughs> take that, even though I'm a barbarian. He's, he's forgotten uh, that it's single player, so. Uh, I can't find out what the arrows do. Oh, it tells me here. Wait a minute. Does it tell me here? Magic arrows. No. Just items. Bench tiles. Does it tell me in combat? Combat. 
here is it. Here is it. You may also choose to retreat. Uh, if hero is has a high limb, no. Wow, this is sorry. This is not very exciting, but magic. I don't know. They're magic arrows, aren't they? Magic arrow. So uh, you may cast spells. Uh, wow. Time more magic screen. Really thought it might tell me about a magic arrow. Um, the treasure cards. I've got, I've got. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm ignoring that. I need to know what these arrows do. Oh wow! When Zagar announces the dragon, I add two to its strength and one to its stamina. I forgot about the dragon. Um. Okay, let's begin to move anyway. One, two. I don't know. I had a PDF so I can just search for. <coughs> it doesn't say anything about magic arrows, which I really don't know what they do. Um, new passenger traps, equipment, torches. Right. So what I want in a rule book now is in the equipment say what they actually do. The arrows. I think it's probably in this massive wall of text here. That's the instructions, but it's not very. It's one of those. All right, let's get on. Two. Giant rats lose one stamina. Oh. One, two. I don't want to lose stamina. Torch. I'm having that. I don't know what it does, but I'm having it. One, two. Leather pouch. Take three gold. We'll have that. Two minutes. I'll start complaining that I'm not doing enough. So, sorcerer lose one spell card. Damn it! I actually wanted that spell card. <laughs> Do I have my elven boots? No, I've got those nicked, didn't I? Otherwise, I'm doing. I wouldn't have gone back on it, but that's one open. A magic arrow. I think I'm. I'll leave that there. I'm actually maxed out magic arrows. Right, one, two. Gain a magic ring. Good wizard, gain a magic ring. Okay. Uh, plans to begin to gain for only one spell. You increase this to two after. You may only cast one spell first turn. Right, so I've got a magic ring which will allow me to have two spells. I've basically got everything apart from Elven Boots, which the game doesn't want me to have. So, one, two. So we're going to move to here. Gain two stamina by love. Uh, one, two, gonna go here. Ghost, lose hyaline. I don't have a ghost, see, this is very similar to Talisman, so we're gonna move to here. Pat, trip, that trap, damn it. And we're gonna go to here. Uh, what's this? Fan of life, heal all stamina. Okay, that's pretty cool. I might have to remember that and keep coming back here if I defeat the dragon. Mule, uh, leave that there. So we're here. So we're going in for the end phase now. Um, so that is Dragon's Cave. When you empty the crypt, you must pass through the Dragon's Cave where you must, if not previously defeated, to beat the combat, you must push the wizard button and wait for the combat sequence. Right, so we're going to go into here. But. That's going to be a good angle for that. You see me here, but I'm at first square of this, but I've got to defeat, defeat the dragon. So, uh, what's the wizard button? It's the staff. Uh, where is it? Warrior. Wizard button. Oh, I see. So it's just. So this way, announce strength red 2 to it. Towards you. Strength three. So it's five. Three. Four. 
spot where the pool of life is already. It's around here somewhere. Hey. I blood. No, I got that one. That's fine. One, of course it is. Time to abuse the dice. Seven. Yep. Down to three. Two. No, not good enough. Three. No, he's on five. Three. Nope. No, nope, I got three as well. Another one halfway there with the dragon. Ten. Dog, oh, dummy. Look at that one. One. Oh, come on. You? Seven. No. Ten. Yep. That is a ten, not a zero. No, nope, not good enough. Hey, and I've done it. Ten. No, you're dead. Die. So now we can encounter this square here. Vampire bats, lose one stamina. Good. Okay, one, two. Your courage has amused me. Gain one stamina. I'm a barbarian. I was going to count on this, which is... Mummy, kill with a torch or lose two stamina. I got a torch, so I'm going to use burn through that torch. And uh, kill it, so that's that done. And now we're here. One, so I should put Zagar on in a minute so we can have the epic battle. Roll one die, evens, roll one die, evens, a miss, odds, lose two stamina. It's a fireball. So I'm gonna put myself there at the top and we'll put Zagar in a bit. Oh, 10, it's evens. It misses me. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put Zagar on here. Just so we've got the epic conf confrontation. And where this is gonna go. Sorry about the camera work. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's a nice little angle. Um so we've now pushed Zagar. So any events now just gonna ignore for the time being. When your hero finally reaches the entrance of Skull Hall, Zagar engages in combat. Zagar has a strength of 12 and stamina of 12. The hero must display any treasure item cards you have collected, at which point the stamina is reduced accordingly one point each each strength stamina card by each chest hand, so it's by eight. So yeah, he's down at four. Yeah, one. I think they're on eight. <coughs> After the hero has deducted from Skyrim's strength of strength points, according to your chess card, you must now push the barbarian button. Wait for who dares change me, so it'll be barbarian, barbarian. We attack. After calling now, so he's down to four, so I'm going to put these here four, four. Calling an attack equal to your strength and weight, or by casting the spell. If Zagar decides to cast a fire a spell, he will announce the name of the spell, for instance, Thunderball, and, and Announce the result of the spell, we lose one stamina point. After the Zagor's attack, Hero may attack him in a normal way. He will turn away. Hero may not retreat. Oh, to come back here. So I think I'm going to do this, so. Who dares to battle with me? Barbarian, I will do battle with you. I don't know what the arrows do. Nine. Oh, so I lose one. My turn to combat him. 
Yep, got six. Taking him down. Ten. Yep, it's whittling me down. Hopefully, I'm not to use a poker. Five. Yep, take him down. He's only on four. One. Ha! You fluff. Five. Yep. Only one point of stamina left. I'm gonna do this. Two. <laughs> Seven, and we've done him. Him dead, done him. That's a legend. There you go. Might have a, another little play through this playing some of these mini uh, games. They could be more fun for solo play because a lot of them are just like based on the um, like there's one here called the Town of the Enchanted Orb. It's only set up you only use this area. You're dead, shut up. And then we have the Howling Spectre, which is set up on both of these with no fighting Zagos. That could be more fun for solo, so um, I might do those uh, in the future. Um, yeah, um, well, that's it for this uh, week's Fighting Fantasy. It's something a bit different. Um, playing this game that not a lot of people see, I actually quite like it. It's more fun with multiple players because you've got them attacking you and so forth. And but as a solo game with just having to crawl and fighting monsters, I quite liked it. So uh, quite a bit of fun in that. Um, I might come up with some house rules to change it. I think 20 gold to begin with is a wee bit strong because you just go 20 gold straight to the store, <laughs> spend it all, and just you're up to almost being unbeatable. So I might have to think some house rules and play it the main game again or test them out playing mini games with the house rules but um hope you liked it if you do please hit that like button that really helps because uh build your channel uh and if you think of anywhere that you know a facebook group or a reddit site that this people might be interested in watching this please do share it that will help as well uh, i hope you're all staying safe and well and until the next time guys please take care